All right, this one's gonna be on Rangers Flat View. Uh, I just wanna spotlight this feature because I don't think a lot of people are aware of it or even use it. And I'm pretty sure not a lot of other file manager has this feature. So uh, let me show you what it does and why I think it's useful. So let's go us it out here. So we have our normal view here, you know, in Ranger, right? This is how you would navigate. You go into a directory, you go out, go into a directory, you go out, stuff like that. And you really cannot jump like in multiple directories, you know, normally. Like say, for example, I'm in this Ranger Master. I have to go into music and I have to go to beats and I have to go to, you know, the ending of this um, subdirectories, right? Uh, but if you use the flat feature, which they have, if you do like command um, and then you type in flat. Now in here you have options. You can do like, if I wanted to go just one subdirectory, I just do flat one. And you see how it has the preview or like not the preview, but like a tree type of view. Um, what the hell are you doing? Oh, there we go. Like this, you know, this tree type of view where you have, uh, normally I would have to go to Alice Adventures, go inside it and then see my MP3s, right? But now you see the MP3s already here. So I can actually play it if I need to, although let me uh, mute the sound here, right? So I can play from here, right? So you can access your stuff um, in a single view instead of like trying to navigate, you know, uh, dig into an individual folder and then recursively going down the rabbit hole to, you know, find out the files you want. You can actually just have like a long list of view, kind of like whenever you do the find command where you have, you know, find, in this case, we only do one. So if you ever do like find max depth equals to one, whatever it is, right? Then this is basically what we got here, right? And you can see all our files are listed in one single view and we can access them. So if I want to, you know, look at this readme, I can still access them like this. So I don't have to like dig around, um, you know, down to a subdirectory or anything like that. Now that's only max depth of one, right? But you see in this, uh, let's go back to our normal view here. But you see here in our ranger, we had, um, you know, one directory, and then we have another um, directory here, and then we have another one here, right? So that's like four um, that we have to go to, right? So if you do like, uh, if we did flat one, you see that we don't have that hotel California MP3s. We can't search for anything. If we do uh, two, uh, we have a little bit more, but we still don't have that Hotel California song. If we do um, three, you know, now that we got to three um, subdirectories, um, we can actually get that Hotel California MP3s here. So you can do, you know, as many as you want. As far as if you want to limit your subdirectories, you can do it manually of doing flat and then the number, whatever it is, right? Now, if you want to do like infinite, um, you do flat and negative one, and this one will be showing you all the subdirectories. So basically, it's recursively allowing you to, sh you know, show all your files in one single view in a flat view like this, and then you can just search for it here instead of like, you know, trying to manually dig through a subdirectory to find the files that you want. Now that's one way to find files, but you can actually do this to jump to a directory too. So for example, um, what was that? You know how we, we did like, what was that? We go into Ranger, we go into Music, and then we go to Beats. Well in here, we're already here. So we just jump to Beats and look at that. We're already jumping directly into there. Now if you go back, it goes like normally, right? You go back to Beats, you go back to Music, and then you're back to the main view here, which is, uh, that's what we did here, right? So for example, this is normally how you would do it. You go Ranger, Music, Beats, and then we get to our file, which is our MP3s, right? But if we turn on that, um, what was that, flat negative one? And look at that, we know that it's in our, um, what was that, our Beats folder. We just go jump to Beats and we're already there, right? If you wanna jump to a, a directory. 
But if you want to access your files, it's already in here at the bottom here, which is just Hotel California. And we have our MP3s here, right? So that's why the, you know, flat feature is so useful to me. I can jump really quick. And another thing I use this for, actually I mainly use this for, is just grabbing the files really quick using our filters. Um, and you know how like you download a bunch of zip files or images, ROM files or whatever it is, and you have to extract those, you know, zip files and they usually create like a bunch of directories or something like that. And you want to just grab all that files out into a single folder and put it into your Bodicera or whatever it is, right? Um, you can do that in here really quick. So you see how we have our flat view, right? We did the flat and negative one. And you can see we have all our files uh, in here. So what you're gonna do is really, all you gotta do, let me see here. Yeah, so we, let's say we bust out another one here, right? We put this into a new folder called Jungle. And this, this is an empty folder, Jungle. So we tap back in here. Now, if I want to, let's say for example, grab all the MP3s, all of them, right? We can do filters. We'll turn on the filters here and we do like uh, MP3, if I spell it right. And since we don't want the folders, we do a dot MP3. And there we go, we grab our MP3s, right? This is, this you know, filters out our MP3s. And I can do select all of them, DD, tab, paste. And look at that, now our, our uh, MP3s are in a single folder. And if I go back here, let me see here. So you see now, if I do um, preview here, all our MP3s are not in those uh, ebooks or not the audio books anymore. It's just in a single folder called Junko here, right? And um, that's how you can filter it out, grab all the files you want, either by extensions or by a file name or whatever it is you want to do, right? And that's what I use for, um, you know, doing it really quick. Now, some of you guys will say write a bash script. A bash script is only useful if you're gonna do it repeatedly every day or something like that, right? Otherwise, you're wasting time writing a bash script. And this one's way more dynamic. I can search for whatever it is I want um, and, you know, dump it into a folder really quick. And even, like I said, jump into a directory really quick um, in here. What else is there? Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, that's what I would use it for. And not a lot of people know about it, but uh, that's what you can do. Now, if you want to map it to your own hotkeys, um, this is what I did here. What is that? Key map, bust out your key map. And basically, I just map it to, uh, what was that, F, what was that, uh, F1? Not to be confused with the function key, it's just letter F and one, letter F and zero here. So that's how you can go back to normal if you, what was that, uh, if you want to go back to normal, you usually do uh, flat zero, and this will go back to the way it was, right? Um, and I don't have flat negative one here because um, I'm using this um, little, I guess you call it like a plugin or a command or whatever it is that you have, which I'll show you here. Yeah, in, in commands here, this one is called toggle flat. Basically, it toggles between negative one and zero, right? And that's how you would, you know, toggle really quick um, if you want to do this. So if I do FT, you see it toggles between negative one, FT, zero, negative one, zero. So FT, right? Uh, so that's the key bindings I use there if you want. Otherwise, if you want to use manually, all you gotta do is do uh, colon and then flat negative one and then once you're done you do flat zero and you're back to normal but that's the features that uh, I like and not a lot of people know about it or maybe utilize it and I'm pretty sure not a lot of other uh, text user interface file manager has this feature and it always disappoints me like I always try out another file managers just to see what kind of features they have that's different from Ranger. And usually it always disappoints me. Like most of them don't have tab support, which is like a no good for me, right? 
like some of them they have like dual pain but that's not what I want I want like tab support because I, I usually use at least four which is what I want and some of them don't have image support which uh, you don't have street cred if you don't have image support nowadays and some of them you can't even rebind hotkeys which is annoying and some of them don't have like um, you know external plugins that you can do uh, not really plugins but like you know external commands that we do in here like some of these ones here you can do like your own commands um, or like run shell scripts inside of the uh, text user interface file manager and then the, you know the other thing is just doing like um, the flat view which I don't believe any of them that I've tried out has it so if your file manager doesn't have the flat view maybe uh, politely ask your maintainer to add it in there but uh, anyways if you don't know what the Ranger flat view is hopefully now you do and maybe utilize it because it is awesome um, and I use this I mean I don't say I use it every day but at least once or twice a week so that is like you know very useful to me when I need to use it right anyways that's it for this one